Good afternoon from Bank Station. Today is uh, Tuesday, 17th of May. Just going to have a look at the new Northern Line platforms here. Wow, the southbound platform really has changed since January. Very stunning indeed. The next two New and improved train display. A lot has changed since January. The signs to trains. They're still building a lift here. Northbound platform hasn't changed much. There are some changes. Time to have a look at the rest of the station. The next train to Mill Hill East is probably here already. It is very, uh, very huge. Uh, lift will be expected in about June or July. July is when I plan on redoing all full journeys on the TFL network. Starting off with redoing the district line to Olympia, then um, Olympia to High Street Kensington, London trams, uh, New Addington to East Croydon via the West Croydon Loop. Wimbledon to Elmer's End, Beckenham Junction to Beckenham Junction to um, so yeah, Beckenham Junction to Wimbledon. These lifts are still here, thankfully. These lifts will be closed off once the new ones open. Then uh, after the trams there will be a TFL rail, Paddington to Hayes and Harlington, Reading to Paddington, and also Heathrow Airport to Paddington Terminal 5 specifically. Then the uh, Shenfield to Liverpool Street. Or maybe um, after the trams there'll be the Elizabeth Line.
nothing much here. Once I do the uh, Crossrail Elizabeth Line, Shenfield Abbey Wood to Shenfield to Reading, Abbey Wood to Heathrow Airport. Then London Overground again, Upminster to Romford, Enfield Town to Liverpool Street, Chesant to Liverpool Street, Chingford to Liverpool Street. New Cross to Dalston Junction, Clapham Junction, or Battersea Park to Dalston Junction. Battersea Park only if there's engineering works between Wandsworth Road and Clapham Junction, which I don't know will probably not happen, depending whether I do it on the on a weekday or during the weekend. No staircase counting this time. Central line, one of the best lines. Okay, up. then it'll be um. Crystal Palace and West Croydon to Highbury and Islington. enough on the central line platforms. Sorry. <laughs> London Overground from the Stratford to Richmond and Clapham Junction. And Watford Junction to Euston. Then I'll redo all the LR routes again. Woolwich Arsenal to Stratford International, Canary Wharf to Stratford, Woolwich Arsenal to Bank, Lewisham to Bank and Beckton to Tower Gateway. And, uh, Waterloo and City Line, Waterloo to Bank. I imagine this is uh, probably going to lead us to the Northern Line platforms. This escalator. After the Walton and State Line, it'll be the Victoria Line from Walthamstow Central to Brixton. Piccadilly Line, the Cockfosters to Heathrow Airport, all terminals, and Uxbridge. Northern Line, Mill Hill East to Finchley Central. Yes, I know, I've done that so many times already. Then probably uh, Morden to Edgware via Bank. Battersea Power Station to Mill Hill East and Hibano via Charing Cross. Metropolitan Line, Chasham, Amersham, Watford and Uxbridge to and Uxbridge to Baker Street and Allgate. Jubilee Line, Stratford to Stanmore. Hammersmith and City Line, Hammersmith to Barking. District Line, Wimbledon to Edgware Road. Ealing Broadway. Sorry, not Ealing Broadway. Richmond to Upminster. Ealing Broadway to Upminster. All on the District Line. Um, 
in the circle line. Hammersmith to Edgware Road via Baker Street, King's Cross of Pancras, Liverpool Street, Tower Hill, Embankment, Victoria and High Street, Kensington. Central line, Epping to Epping to West Ryslip and uh, Woodford to Woodford to Hainault, Hainault to Ealing Broadway via Newbury Park. And last but not least, the Bakerloo line from Elephant and Castle to Harrow and Wealdston. Back on the Northern Line platforms where we started about 10 minutes ago. The walkway to and from Circle and District lines, I mean between the Northern Line and Circle and District lines hasn't changed. Probably, well, let's just find out. That used to be the Southbound platform used to be shorter. Thanks to four months of hard work from TFL themselves, it's now bigger. Street to Hartford East and Stratford to Meridian Water tomorrow alongside uh, some uh, other journeys across the uh, South West London, South East London, Victoria to Orpington, Cannon Street and Cannon Street to Hayes via Lewisham, Charing Cross to Hayes avoiding Lewisham and uh, Victoria, Charing Cross and Cannon Street to Slade Green, Dartford. Uh, it has to be within the Oyster contactless uh, zone. I could also do Grove Park to Bromley North. Walkway still hasn't changed. Uh, between the Northern Line and Circle and District Line platforms. I plan on doing LNER to Leeds again. And also London Euston to Liverpool Lime Street, whether that the West Coast. Actually, it's coming right now. Those are some ticket gates We're right beneath the Circle and District Line platforms. Down there are the uh, Circle Line via Victoria and the Westbound District Line to Ealing Broadway and Richmond. 
are can't take your bike on the Piccadilly line from Hounslow West to uh, Heathrow Airport or on the trams. Uh, I did have a bike, I just haven't used it recently. <coughs> Hopefully you have this, uh, lots of food outlets still here. Other um, uh, non uh, TFL services planned uh, GWR to Bristol, Bristol Temple Meads, uh, and maybe to Cardiff Central as well. Avanti West Coast to Liverpool or Birmingham. So, to summarise, uh, Bank Station, May 2022, after the Northern Line's reopening. Only changes were to the Northern Line platforms. Everything else is all the same. So we're just uh, continuing to walk towards the DLR platforms because those DLR trains are very satisfying. They only let you use the, they only let you chill at the front seat during quieter times. DLR train approaching, terminating here. Another terrible DLR train. Arsenal for London City Airport. One minute, Lewisham in three minutes, and Lewisham in eight minutes. I think I'll end the video here, even if this is not my train, as always I will see you in the next video, goodbye.